far as being an artist, what's the most challenging part of, you know, making a song? I would say um, just the arrangement, maybe. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, okay. You know, you think? I, I, don't, I don't, honestly, I think, I think we just have fun and yeah. kind of, uh, you know, the, at least the person that was at the studio that we recorded at before, I mean, he kind of did pretty much all the work in terms of recording and mixing, so we don't have a lot of experience, oh. at least with that. Oh, okay, do you find it easy, like, uh, you know, like composing new, like, like new material? Um, usually the way the songwriting process works is either she'll come to the table or I'll come to the table with sort of a, kind of a beat or sort of a riff, and I'll just kind of feed off of what she's doing or vice versa. Um, yeah. You know. Yeah, so it's like a jamming process, and then we create yeah. from that. The song doesn't really start out as a song. It st starts out more or less as just sort of a like a jam, jam session, and then we kind of we'll okay. make lyrics to it or, you know, make arrangements to it, you know, yeah. structured. Is it um, easier to record or mix a song, and why? Well, to me, um, recording can be... Uh, repetitive process, a little monotonous. I like mixing myself. I feel that's easier. Uh, it's more of an art form. I get to put my own uh, stamp on the project in a sense. Detroit has a future as far as the, the rock and roll scene. There's a lot of talent here. It just has to be, you know, put out there and promoted. But I think Detroit has a has a good future a, a ahead of us. You know what I mean? We kind of get overlooked and overshadowed, but I really think that there's a there's a there's a gem. You know what I mean in de in Detroit. All right, uh, guys. Now, uh, like Motown was big, you know, like in the '60s and '70s. Uh, do you think that um, that there's going to be another, you know, like another big successful independent company? coming out of Detroit putting out quality material? Um, yes and no. There's, I think right now, two different, you know, two different worlds of music, the first of which being a very mainstream, commercialized MTV image of what music should be, and then the other one is sort of the underground independent label. Now, in my opinion, the independent label is the future of rock and roll. Rock and roll isn't what MTV says it is. That's just pure crap. All of it just sounds the same. All of it is, there's no soul in any of it. This goes for rap. This goes for modern rock, too. Anything you hear on 89X, or the riff, all crap. Um, so it's, in a sense, it's sort of what the record label is telling you to do, is what, is what they think music is, and that's not what it is. I don't want to be told by it some big wig in some corporate office that my music sucks because this and that that's that's crap i'm not going to do that i'd much rather i'd almost much rather be on the underground circuit and have sort of a small following than be very famous have lots of money and be in that kind of a situation i want to make music that i think is cool that i have fun doing and i don't want to be told by anybody what sounds good or not Part of being a recording artist, do you enjoy the most? Chicks, the <laughs> booze, the drugs. Creating, just jamming and just playing from your heart, just doing whatever, you know, not obeying any type of rules or living up to anybody's standards, you know, just being your own person, you know what I mean? Just totally having all freedom and just total range to do whatever it is that you want to do and just play as loud as you want to, you know. What's the uh, most difficult aspect of uh, being a recording engineer? Uh, difficult I guess scheduling could be difficult uh, you know some people actually a lot of people are more creative later in the day so sometimes we have late night sessions um, another thing is you know the, a lot of time the equipment isn't 100 percent because so sometimes you might run into problems and you have to troubleshoot and try to work around it real fast uh, without it being noticed as a problem and what's uh, some of the most important fundamentals to follow when you're uh, recording and mixing the album uh, the first thing would be uh, your signal level. You want to have uh, the most uh, signal coming off your microphones without uh, overloading the uh, inputs. That's the main thing. Uh, we get a lot of recordings and people record it and uh, 
it's just too low uh, uh, signal coming from the mic, so the noise is more prominent uh, when I have to turn up the gain afterward, after recording. The most difficult part of putting out an album is the promotional uh, process, man, because you got billions and billions of people out here in the world and you got to reach them. So, you know, the promotion has got to be airtight. The marketing and the strategy that you put into the promotions is the most difficult because you got to reach a large mass and then you got to sit back and appease the people who don't rap, who like rap, who don't see visions like you seeing because you being an artist, you know what I'm saying? And it can be a little frustrating. And then, you know, 50 states and then all these cities inside each state, you know, the footwork and everything is just, you got to put extra energy into that. So like I said, that's the hardest part, that's the promotion part. My view is about hip hop and R&B in Detroit. It's going to grow. It's going to grow faster and faster at a rapid pace, man, because, you know, this is Motown and you got tons of talent here and everybody's just going to keep growing. And Detroit, a lot of people make money. So it's going to be people here that's going to build foundations, management companies, production companies, more studios is going to be built here because it's just too much talent up in here. And then from that, that's going to allow the big people from other places to reach here. And we're going to definitely be a portal to the world because Motown packs the, uh, the talent for uh, singers. And, you know, we uh, are the Great Lakes and we get a mixture of everything. So the style that's inside the artists is here we can go ahead and fit into any type of stature of music, whether it be south, west, east, so it's going to do nothing but get bigger.